Welcome to Recordology. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. I hope you had a splendid day, wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. So I get a kick out of people noticing details in the background. I have to admit, uh, sometimes I do put little Easter eggs back there to see if you've picked up on it. I remember when we were filming in the kitchen a lot, sometimes I remember that sign that now is the uh, sign I have up over my little uh, record shop. Sometimes I would put messages on there just to see if anybody was reading it. And a lot of times nobody would say anything. I was like, okay. But uh, here at the workbench, now that we've established this, by the way, I hope you don't mind us doing shows in here. It really just helps because I'm able to film at night. I don't have to rely on the sun. And uh, with a busy schedule, it's been very, very helpful. So I know it's a little bit less polish shooting on uh, plywood. Actually, it's a, it's not. Anyway, it's a particle board of sorts. But it's not granite either. So it's a little bit less polish, but it's more kind of a workshop kind of feel, which I like that. I mean, we're here to experiment, take things apart. It's a little bit more conducive in this environment than it is, you know, in a, a granite countertop. But anyway, somebody noticed the other day in the upper left-hand corner, like this green thing and this guy's like okay I give up what is it <laughs> I had to laugh because I could see myself doing that too in video so what we have here is not the point of the video but I'm going to uh, show you what it is I, I said in the comment I replied I said well watch tonight and I'll show you what it is uh, so here it is this is a droid Star Wars droid remote control this was a Christmas present and it's really cool because it uses, I mean, this is rubber right here, and it spins. I mean, it really rolls. I'll show you here in a second. Unfortunately, to stabilize it, unlike the movie version, they have to have these little uh, stabilizing wheels, which they make it clear. So it's like, don't pay attention to that. That's not a main point of it. But here we go. Here's the remote control. It uses infrared, so you should be able to see a flickering in there. Let's see if we can create a little. Yeah, you can see just a little bit. Sorry for my... Okay. Anyway, infrared you can see on camera. So if you want to check to see if your batteries to your remote controls that use IR, like your TV remote controls, are dead. And it, in fact, you know what? Lights off. See the flashing? Cameras can perceive it while the human eye can't. The point is you have to have line of sight for this. But yeah, it goes really fast forward and backwards and it rotates and it makes funny noises. In fact, when it falls over, it even makes a noise. So, that is my droid, and yeah, it's really fun to scare the dog with that, honestly. Really, really. Did I get that off? Okay. Oh, nope, I didn't get it off. Come on. Press and hold. Okay, I think it's off. Okay. I'm a kid at heart. Toys, I love them. You know, if we're doing a show about toys, it's just going to be expensive you know, different kinds of toys. So today, what we're really here to do is to do a shootout between two cartridges. And we've done cartridge shootouts before. So here's what we have to work with. So this is an Audio-Technica cartridge. You'll see it says VMN 20 EB there. That's actually the stylus model number. The cartridge has a different model number. And they are all Typical half mount moving magnetic cartridges. This is in the LP7's head shell. I think it's a really cool head shell. And then this guy right here, this is the Grado Gold Prestige 2 that has been discontinued in favor of the Gold Prestige 3. And it's a competing product. So here's what I would say. Let me zoom in here. We don't need the wide angle. In my previous experience, let me grab something. Hold on. I got notes. When I start talking numbers and things, I, I don't want to screw anything up. So um, in my previous experience, and we're going to listen to these. You can judge for yourself here in a minute. Audio-Technica, for me, sounds pretty neutral, where Grado sounds pretty warm, and I like that. Some people, it's not their favorite sound, but for me, I think it's a really good sound, the Grado. I like this too, but for me, I really like this sound. You be the judge. So what do we got here? So on the left, the Audio-Technica, that is a VM520EB, a VM520EB. It is in a bonded elliptical stylus, so that means the diamond is glued or affixed to the tip. A nude stylus would be one where the entire uh, tip is pure diamond, not just a little chip at the base of the shank. So 
Um, not the cantilever, that wouldn't be diamond, but the actual stylus itself would be solid diamond. But this, like many, 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 most of the ones that you and I are going to use, is bonded. So it's a tiny chip of diamond at the tip of a metal shank. This retails for $119. It is standard equipment with the uh, $800 um, LP7. The stylus replacement cost itself, the VMN 20EB stylus, is $79. Frequency response on this is 20 hertz to 23 kilohertz. And it has a channel separation of 27 decibels at 1, one kilohertz. So that's pretty good. That's that's very lush sound. Again, it's a pretty cool sound to my ears. It's pretty neutral. It's not as warm as the Grado. But it is a snappy little cartridge. I like it. I would recommend it. Tracks between 1.8 and 2.2 grams. And in this corner, we have the Gold Prestige 2. There is a Silver Prestige line, and they're up to the 3 series now. So this is the 2. You can still buy it in a couple different sites, but primarily if you want to invest in this they have the new version is super super cool i love the form factor on this this is in the head shell of an lp 120x usb and um, i am terrible at mounting these things so i somebody gave me the advice of doing it upside down like that is a little bit easier again typical half inch mount um so what do we got with this guy here so this is also elliptical it is a twin both of these are dual moving mag they call it audio technica calls it a dual moving magnet Grado calls it a twin moving magnet. This retails for 260, so it's it's considerably more than the Audio Technica. And the stylus alone, the stylus replacement alone, which is this black piece right here. In fact, I'm going to take the guard off so you can see. So this entire piece right here, this black piece in here, that just that is going to run you in between 135 and 195 dollars. So you could almost buy a new cartridge for what one you know, replacement needle is going to cost you. Um, both of these have amazing marketing material in terms of, you know, premium oxygen-free copper. And uh, they, uh, Grado has a distressed metal housing and all kinds of marketing language that gets you really excited about their particular product. And uh, this is also bonded like the other one. The frequency response on this is phenomenal. The other one was 20 hertz to 23 kilohertz. This one claims to be 10 hertz to 60 kilohertz. So way beyond the range of human hearing. And as far as channel separation, the other one was 27 decibels at one kilohertz. And this one is 35 decibels at one kilohertz. And it tracks at 1.5 grams. So there you go. We are going to test them side by side. And let's do that now. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is this. You're gonna enjoy this in luscious stereo sound. And I'm going to use an in-room microphone versus a line-in. Why? Because I want this show to go up before 3 a.m. So doing the line-in recording takes the time that I can't afford to do most of the time when doing a live show. That being said, uh, we can do that and on occasion we do. But for this show, I want you to experience what this needle sounds like in real life. Most of the time we're listening to turntables, not on headphones, although we can do that. We're listening in the room with speakers. And speaking of speakers, they are the Personas Eras 4.5s, and we are a little closer to the right-hand speaker. So if that sounds a little louder uh, channel-wise, that's why we're using the LP7. We've balanced the tone arm. We've cleaned everything, except I want to run the anti-static brush over this one more time. And for music, we're using a um, Enoch Light record because it shouldn't have any content ID match stuff. Somebody told me the other day, like, your brush isn't doing anything. I'm like, okay, well, check out all this crap. It's getting out of the grooves for one thing. And for another thing, it definitely makes a big difference on static. Man, when you get the light on this LP7, there's so much dust. It drives me nuts, even though it's actually very clean in here. Okay, so I'm not going to cut back and forth either because, again, I want the show to go up before Tuesday. Uh, so or next Tuesday, I should say. So we're just, just bear with me here, okay, guys? This isn't super scientific. Just listen. This is the Audio Technica. Let's listen to what this sounds like in comparison to the other stylus. I'm switching microphones right now.
Okay, so there you go. I think it sounds pretty dang good. This is my daily driver stylus on this turntable, although I might, depending on what I feel about the two, I might leave the gold prestige on for a bit. So let me go ahead and switch stylus, and yes, even though you're not seeing it, be rest assured that I am properly balancing both the tone arm weight as well as the anti-skate. So I will be right back. Okay, and here is the other cartridge, balanced, ready to go. Clean the stylus on both of these right before the sound test. And I ran the anti-static brush on the record again. Same track, I'm just gonna let it play for a little bit and you be the judge. Here we go. My vocal mic here bear with me here okay so I noticed a pretty noticeable difference I noticed a noticeable difference makes sense I guess to me the grotto the grado excuse me comes in sounding warm again and that's something I've said multiple times about grado products even the you know the, they're black you know the basic unit and uh, I've noticed that it sounds warmer than the audio technica Specifically listening to this track, comparing the two in this environment on this particular test, I'm noticing uh, noticeable increases in channel separation and immediacy in the sound. Not only is it warm, but it's in your face. I feel like it's closer. I feel like it's clearer. It's the more. It's making the music more transparent, or the the uh, making the technology more transparent and the music more immediate. If that makes any sense. So, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Could you perceive a difference? I should have said put on your headphones because this is probably something you're going to need the headphones to notice. And there's so much. So much of this is subjective. Some people will be like, oh yeah, the Grados sound too warm for me. I don't like it. I like this. I like that. Tell me your favorite cartridge down below. For me, what is this thing? Two hundred sixty. This is the most expensive cartridge that I own on the most expensive turntable that I own both of which I never could imagine that I would have very blessed to have both of them and for me this is all I could ever dream of I can't imagine it going beyond this so someday I ought to go to a hi-fi show and I'll probably be blown away <laughs> but in my world you know we're an entry-level show and for our realm our scope this is definitely high-end stuff so anyway let me know down in the comments below what you think hopefully you enjoyed the show i just noticed that the uh, klingon bird of prey looks like it is in control of the tone arm there and the uh, platter uh, is the enterprise fighting back kind of an interesting backdrop i kind of like it kind of like it. we got donald off to the far left there in the mad hatter those details you guys notice always impress me and yes my speaker wire is sticking out in the corner there so if you guys are ocd about that kind of stuff as am i usually then um, you'll probably tell me that I need to fix that. But anyway, that's going to do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for being there. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.